Almighty God, we commend into thy hands our nation and people at this time, beseeching thee to guide us in the paths of righteousness and truth. We pray thee to give to our leaders wisdom in all things and the realization that one day they will give account to thee. We pray for those who control industry and commerce and those who educate men's minds that they may be mindful of thy laws of truth and honesty. We pray for the children of our land, the citizens of tomorrow, that they may grow up in the love and fear of thy holy name. We humbly thank thee for all the ways in which thou hast blessed and guided us unto this day, and we pray that under thy continued providence we may be worthy to be called a Christian people. May we keep our national flag unsmeared by any dishonorable means. This is the climax of the whole evening and the beginning of a, what we hope is going to be really a tremendous new era for us. The Governor General and the Prime Minister have gone out into almost the center of the parade ground and in a couple of seconds time almost, the lights will dim and in the darkness, the Union Jack will disappear. Here now, the last time is a salute to the Union flag. is the flag of Barbados to a tremendous roar from the crowd here, a tremendous surge of national spirit. And there you have the cheers of the hundreds and thousands of Barbadians who have come here to witness this momentous occasion as fluttering now in the breeze is our national flag. Your Royal Highness, this is a very proud moment in the history of the people of Barbados. I am glad, as I am sure, that the members of my government are equally glad that we were born at a time when we could see this eventful day.